Hi, this is Jeff Grant with the Face to Face Project in Niyama Village, Kongoma. I'm here today with Silva and also Mata on the Face to Face team is helping with the translation. So, before you created your victory garden, um, how did you get vegetables? How did you get food? Zua. So as for her face, like uh, like previous, where maybe they used to have like maybe uh, to to go in somebody else's garden, so that maybe they should buy that from that somebody else's garden. Because before they are not believing that they can have like a uh, like home garden. They are knowing that maybe they can have only maybe garden near the river. So. Uh, for her, they used every day to go to that like uh, liver gardens and to buy from there. So they were always they were having to use yes, what little yes. money they had from selling corn. Yes, and when, he, the other point which she said, she said that they used like in this lent season they used to have this some like flesh, flesh like uh, flesh vegetable, and they used to dry it so that maybe they can like eat it for some other like. Uh, season to come. Okay. Yeah. So they were never growing their own food. They would only grow corn and then sell the corn for, for not much money. And with that money, they would go to the river where some people would grow vegetables and then use that money to buy vegetables. And in some cases would, would dry it and try to, to keep the vegetables yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. But no corn crop, this is important. If there was a bad season, a drought, and there's, there's a, a poor harvest in corn, there's no money, so no money to buy vegetables. So face to face provided training here. Um, Silva was one of the first people who went through the training, and then she created her first garden. And the first garden was in a building, and I'll, I'll, I'll share a video with that later. This is the second garden that she, she's created. Both of them look absolutely beautiful now, and we wanted to get to look at the garden and actually see what she's growing now. Ground just to put it like here, so it was like just like a bin, a trash bin. It was a trash. This is. It was a trash bin here before. This was just bare ground. It was an area behind the house. This just amazes me that that things were thrown, and now it's a beautiful garden. Eight different types of vegetables in this garden. Uh, what type of fertilizer did she use? <laughs> So she did not use any type of fertilizer, but she used she used this manure. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. So no chemical fertilizer, nothing was 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 purchased for that. How, how about seeds? Where did the seeds come from? So uh, the other seeds, like uh, she like maybe she. She kept it from uh, like last year. Okay. So she just kept it. From purchasing vegetables yes. somewhere else, she kept seeds. Yes, okay. Yes. yes. So the, I think the only one seed she used to buy it. She buy it in the market. Right? Only so in the market she bought one type of seed. Everything yes. else she just reused. Yes. Found at other places. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> it's a beautiful garden. I didn't even know what to do. Zelela or a Zaruzo Geni, Riga Yirani, Madim Bajore Yava, Demon in Bamani or the Mariga, Tita Waza, Yogalana in Bailoro, Tita Waza, Gals the Tama Wela, Riti was the Niat, Lady Magon Zero, the two Mongailo, Miss Pariena Uku, Madim Baum Pagana for one. They is for Yaga, if they, the Karayani, Pasera, or opposite. <laughs> After seeing the, uh, from her garden, that's when like people were coming to her. Can you help me to do this garden? So she was the one helping like other people doing the uh, the other garden. So thus uh, she just pointed the, like two gardens. Like there is another garden there which she helped like the neighbor and also another garden she helped someone so after that experience because she was helping some other people so like the team sees that maybe she has like a, a passion for helping some other like uh, uh, other people in the community so they chose her to be a facilitator to this community in this community I mean. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> very nice. <laughs> <laughs>
I think this is this is such an important part of how this how the Victory Garden campaign works because nothing was forced, nothing was given other than training. Silva loved the work. She created a beautiful garden. Other neighbors saw the garden. They wanted their own. She helped them create it. And then we wanted to expand the, the gardens across to other villages. And she, because of her passion, was selected as a facilitator, received some additional training. So now she is training other people in the community to create their own gardens. And that's, that's how you scale. And this is ownership in the community. And that's so important for this to work. There have been over 2,000 gardens already created in the Victory Garden campaign. We've seen this week over 200 new ones created in other villages here in Kongoma in the coming days. And Silva will be an important part of this as a facilitator. There'll be another you know, more than 100 gardens. So it's, it's slow to develop at the beginning, but once people start to see the success of the gardens, that other communities want it, other neighbors want it, and it really just takes off. And that's, that's what we're seeing now, when you can come in in a week and add 200, 300 gardens, and the skills, the permaculture gardening skills, are all being taught by people in the community. This is how, this is how we can scale, this is how we can help people create their own food, grow their own food, and actually make an impact in the community. Silva, zikomo, zikomo kumbili. Thank you so much for showing us your garden. Zikomo, <laughs> zikomo.